It really was that close. Now, Chael, something else you guys did that was different. You did a behind-the-scenes podcast. Where did that idea come from, and what was that like? Okay, it was it was so good. I don't know if you've had a chance to hear it. I, I have. It's Kyle, wild. By the way, Kyle let me just jump in. Chael, let me jump in. I have heard it. It's awesome. It's an awesome listen. Yeah, it, it was so fun, you know, and, and it was live. And so when we're in the studio doing it and we're live, the, the gentleman that's actually producing it and running the equipment, which Mike and I know nothing about, you know, he's got to pick these calls. If we got to get in, we got to get out. The, and the guy really nailed it. It got all patched together. It was a lot of fun. But what we thought was if we're going to rip the studio, we're going to fly Mike all the way out here. Uh, you know, let's make this a two part thing. Let's come on the smack off, but then let's show the fans what it's like behind the scenes to scramble you know we've all got a script but we can't ever admit we have a script and so part of having a script and not getting caught with a script is that you have a lot of blank spots you know what you're going to say but you got to fill in the names as the show goes along so that you can respond to whoever it is uh that's burning you early that's another reason mike and i from the psychology standpoint that's another reason we thought it would make a lot of sense for us to break up as a team early on is that everybody else's script that was planning to come after us now there's no longer an us, so their script is fumbled. So we thought, let's give the fans a behind the scenes, let them see what it's like when the house is on fire and we're scrambling to fill in the blanks and still pull this off live. You know, not only was, did I have to record the podcast live, but your show is live. I think it's like a 12 second delay. There is no room for air, which comes back to my point earlier. That's why this is such a competition. That's why I tell you, man, this is serious business, and there's only one crack at it a year. And look, there's a show within the show in the way you're laying this thing out. There's a certain complexity to that. Now, Chell, you mentioned the us factor. The us factor, I've got to be straight, and you're letting us into a lot of things that were going on during that, what you were thinking, how you felt. I can tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking that you guys, in and of yourselves, might have had a shot to win that thing. I understand you're a team. I understand that was the approach, but you were doing well enough by yourself that I thought this might be good enough to win it. Mike did well enough by himself that I thought Mike might be doing well enough to win this thing. Have you decided what you're going to do going forward are you still in us you know i don't know that, that i think we'll leave that up to mike it, it, it was a ton of fun but uh you know we, we had to be in us this year because we were the defending champions uh it's it's a lot of fun to be in us the problem is we've got to come up you know with an idea we got to come up with, with better ideas so so we got a year to figure that out if i had my choice i think that we would stay together uh you know but I'm going to leave that up to Mike. He's a creative guy. He's a really smart guy. I got to know him. I've only known him over the phone. I got to spend time with him. His plane got delayed. He was coming in from Chicago. Uh, his plane got delayed till past midnight before I actually got my hands on him. Then, of course, we've got to get a late-night snack, and then we got to get to the house and settle in, and then we got to set up the laptops and get going. It ended up being a real college-type party where we went all night long. We literally had zero sleep. My neighbor's in on the gig, my neighbor Joel, so he agrees to pick us up in the morning and drive us into the studio so that Mike and I can sit in the back of the car while listening to your show and filling in the blanks uh, you know, on our laptops and our scripts. So it was this major group effort. We're getting text messages going off. Mike's getting his buddy. Uh, you know, he's got a plant that's at, at home. I can't recall where that's from. Possibly Indy, possibly not. Uh, give it, you know, it, we're getting all these different cues, and then we get to the studio, and like I said, man, the house was on fire. We were, we're on limited time, so whether we'll stay together, I hope we do, but we'll uh, we'll do whatever's best for our chance to win it. It's it's, it sounds to me, Chad, like the five grand that you could have won wouldn't begin to cover the cost of the actual work that you guys put into this. It's amazing the time spent, the energy that went into it, the fact that he flew in so you guys could be in a studio together, which you rented. It shows how much it means to both of you. Once again, the Behind the Scenes podcast is really an interesting listen. I tweeted out the link, but if people who missed it, Chael, want to hear it, how do they find it? You know, if they just go to podcast one uh, slash chael or podcast one dot com slash chael son, and they'll find it. If I'm wrong about that and I can't remember, do a simple Google search. But it is pretty cool. You know, I didn't I didn't come on today to plug it, but man, it, it really did turn out well, and it, and it was a blast. No, hey, listen, I know you didn't do that, and absolutely, that's not the thing. But I I have no problem directing the clones to it because it's a great listen and it is a blast. Chael, sincerely, I appreciate you. I appreciate that you respect the event that much. You've made it better every year that you've come on. So have a great fourth. Spend some time with your son, and it's great to have you back, Chael. Thanks so much. Yeah. You're the man. See you, Jim. You got it, Chell. Thank you. Man, bravo.
That's an amazing inside the look at the smack off and their call and what went into it. I knew a lot went into it, but until he takes the time to actually lay it out step by step, that Mike flew in, that they rented a studio, that half the neighborhood was involved, that they stayed up all night, that they had a producer, that they were actually doing the podcast during the show, so there was the show within the show. I mean, how hard did they go? How much work did they put into that? Yeah, no wonder he was depressed he didn't win. How do you go that hard and not win? And they could have won. I mean, a lot of you think they did win. And that's why it was one of the best events ever. Again, many of you thought left won. A lot of you thought they won. Still a huge contingency thought that Brad won. I could have made an argument that Vic had a great call. It was a great, great event.